This pharmacy is filled with thousands of different medications. Some are brand name, some are generic, and some can be used in a process known as therapeutic substitution. This is theoretically different than generic drugs. Generic drug substitution is substitution of the exact same drug. Therapeutic substitution is the use of a similar but not the same drug within a drug class. Dr. Michael Johansson from The Ohio State University, along with his colleague, reviewed the records of more than 107,000 patients between 2010 and 2012. They looked at prescription drug use and estimated how much money could be saved using therapeutic substitution. There were 26 included drug classes that spanned cardiovascular health, mental health, allergies, urology, and many other aspects of medicine. 62% of people in the United States used prescription drugs. Around one-third of people took a drug from the included classes. The study appears in JAMA Internal Medicine. In total, $73 billion over three years, or nearly one out of every $10 spent on prescription drugs, could have been saved with therapeutic substitution. Importantly, the consumer paid just over one-third, or $24.6 billion, of the total $73 billion that could have been saved. Dr. Johansson says that therapeutic substitution is somewhat controversial because it could impede decisions about medications that are made between doctors and patients. There's tremendous potential savings from undertaking of therapeutic substitution on a large scale. However, therapeutic substitution is controversial. It needs to be done in a respectful manner of patients' health because that's really what we're here for is to try to make patients healthier. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.